What is going on guys? We're back with another video today and we're doing basically our first reload of rebuild But technically it's not really a reload if you never made it We had four straight seasons with this roster that we did not make the playoffs And I think this team probably deserves another chance if you guys think they deserve another chance, like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, JoePK. Check out the second channel, PK. Uh, but of course, the biggest thing is let me know what you guys want to see in the future for challenge rebuilds. Uh, of course, I think this for Thursday, we're going to be doing a Falcons rebuild. Uh, this is what the roster, of course, looked like uh, before we quit. We got Tannehill as a backup. Sam Darnold never got the dev up, but he's only 26. So I believe we do have to re sign him. The stats were really weird because, ultimately, these guys... Wait, why do we have Bulaga? We do have the re-signed players, don't we? I think. But, uh, regardless, I think our stats have been pretty bad. Somehow, with good players, the ratings have been terrible. Uh, let's take a look at Williamson. Uh, Avery Williamson, 31 years old. I mean, the team looks all right. But it really does beg the question of why wasn't the offense better? But as far as what we need to do is I think we should probably let Le'Veon Bell go. His number is a bit high. I mean, it depends on what he wants, I suppose. His number is a bit high. Hopefully, we can find someone else in free agency. A noon one might be able to be let go soon. Hopefully, Bulaga was just a one year because this Porter guy looks like he's ready to start. And even if he wasn't, we've got this Lynn person, uh, 22 years old, sitting as a back. I mean, we've got a pretty good set of linemen and then, like I said, with defense, we need to replace Williamson. Cashman can't be too young. 27, he's not going to progress too much more. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess running back is the main focus. Uh, I mean, in fairness, Le'Veon Bell's not asking for a whole lot. Williamson, that's actually a pretty fair contract, too. I think Le'Veon Bell played pretty well. Can we just do... Hmm, so if the tells me he's going to go to free agency anyways. He will, damn it. Uh, maybe we'll get him a free agency. I don't know. Bulaga, we're going to let go. Quincy and Nunwa, we're going to let go. Uh, Bless you and Austin. We'll take a look at who our corners are, but we might let him go. Uh, some of these backers will probably let go. Avery Williamson, 81 overall, 20 mil over two years for a very average linebacker. is a little expensive. Yeah, we're pretty much going to be letting the majority of these players go, I think. We could use, like, a fourth and fifth string corner, but we don't really need that Austin guy. I know two-year two, two year five mil isn't much, but we've got a lot of money. We might be able to pick up some new players, so try to save as much as we can. Nick Bosa, Rodney Hudson, Tony Pollard would be an interesting name. I haven't seen him ever, like, get a proper starting job, but with his size, I feel like that'd be a problem. Like, he wouldn't actually be able to do well. I just wish it was a better name here at running back. Uh, we could go for Nick Bosa because uh, Adric Donnelly wasn't... I mean, to be fair, none of our defensive linemen really have been good, but Adric Donnelly finally did all right, but I don't know if that's enough for me. I, I don't know if it's enough for me to, you know, warrant a re-signing. Not to mention, he's probably worth at least a high third, late second-ish because, you know, he is still somewhat young. Uh, obviously, Galvin younger and more developable. So I'm thinking about it. We'll take a look at how much it's going to cost to get Nick Bosa. But if it's like 20 mil a year, I don't know, he might drop it. It's about 20 mil a year for big boy Nick Bosa. He looks really good. Do you pay for a guy like Nick Bosa? And, you know, it is a realistic situation because the Niners, they got rid of DeForest Buckner. And, I mean, that's a very, that was a huge piece for them. Do we offer more? Like I said, I was willing to pay. Is there, no, we, we don't want to guarantee this because... We might get a pass rusher in the late round or something that we want to use in the future. But Tony Pollard, I wish there was a way to see their stat line over their career because, once again, I these type of backs seem to do pretty poorly in sim, whereas you get guys like uh, Le'Veon Bell that just do well no matter how old they are. So I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, I suppose a four-year 22 mil, that's... That's backup money anyways, really. But it actually turns out we did pay Darnold, which, I mean, I suppose is a smart move, but... Hopefully he actually plays up to the contract. All right, so we got some uh, players. Did we get... We got Nick Bosa. That's a huge one. We also got Ben Burkirvan as a linebacker to replace Avery Williamson. We got Pollard to replace Le'Veon Bell. Jawan Taylor is just a little uh, two-year insurance backup. 
at lineman. Uh, Deontay Thompson, same thing. And then Westry, same thing. Some of those other guys, not really super expensive backups. But Nick Bosa is huge because not only do we have you know a brand new starter on the defensive line who looks amazing, we also can trade Donnelly for the you know that late second, early third round pick that we were talking about. We got Sternberger as a backup and Le'Veon Bell. Seeing the harsh reality that nobody really wants a 31-year-old running back joins us back on a pretty cheap two-year deal, less than he was actually asking for in the first place that we did offer to uh, to pay. Jamar Chase wants a, uh, well, he's going to want a contract. We're not going to give him a fifth-year option. We're just going to pay him right out the gate. You know, if there's anyone else, we'll probably do the same. BJ Foster, yeah, that's another guy we should, well, 89 overall. Yeah, we'll just pay him. We also get 78 overall Geno Atkins. I don't know, maybe it'll teach some guys something. I don't know. Like your Yamada, I'm what? All right, so we have the draft, and we actually have a really solid pick. But as far as what we need right now and trying to think of what we need to replace in the future, there's not much there for us. Maybe safety Tremont Tatum uh, could maybe even play corner. That's probably who we'll go for. And then Timmy Raglan. He doesn't look insanely great, but he's very fast. And if he does have really good dev, you know, he could be an absolute steal. But, I mean, there's really not much more to go for. Like I said, you know, we have two running backs, but really we would just go for this guy because he's late. Nigel Johnson I don't think is worth it. So, with this guy being a mid-first, we have pick 12, which is mid-first. I think we're going to go to pick 8, and if he's still there, we'll debate on if it's worth it because it probably still will be a pretty costly trade-up. And yikes, this draft looks terrible. All right, so the Niners and the Broncos. Let's see what, you know, if any of those teams need safety. All right, so we go over a little bit of a weird trade, but pick 12 and then on next year, third round for Lynn and Lynn, our star left guard who's only 22-23 for pick 8 in 104 this. I think that's completely fair because that Lynn guy is very young and he probably will start for them. But as far as what we're going to go for is Tremont Tatum, probably going to play safety for us in the future. May, might let our free safety go. See if he's good. 77 overall hidden. Okay, he's, he's very good. 21 years old as well. Could play corner. Uh, I mean, you choose what you want to do with him, honestly. Good catching. I think it really just comes down to what more what we need more in the future, which I would assume is probably going to be free safety more just because, uh, well, I don't know, actually. Cause, oh, no, we do. We should start him right away, actually. Marcus May is already 30, and he's only an 83 overall. Lattimore's 27. So worst comes to worst, he'll be at least 90 overall until like 29, 30. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, I suppose, have ourselves a new free safety. We could get rid of May. We may actually do it. <laughs> may trade him and Donnelly for like a mid to early second or something like that, if we even have anyone there, which I don't know if we do. All right, I pick 15 now. Uh, our biggest thing we have is Timmy Raglan. We could use a starter, at fairness, at linebacker, because Ben Burkirvan... You know, he's he's 77 overall, but he is already 25, and he's only normal. Of course, if Raglan's normal, GG, but he's so fast, I can't pass on him. And okay, that's all we need. I don't care if he's star, superstar. I mean, I do care. I'd wish he would be superstar and X-Factor, but or X-Factor. But overall, we got what we expected. That agility's a little low. Jumping's, you know, kind of bad for someone as athletic as him, but... Hidden looks good. That's really all you can ask for. And then as far as the rest of the class goes, I mean, our next pick is basically a fourth rounder. We might take Cates as well. I know he's on the slower side, but looks pretty good for a late fourth. And, you know, we are going to need a corner and a free safety in the future. So we can kind of mix and match whatever, you know, whoever ends up better. We also do have this guy, though, McCray. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We're definitely going to trade down our second round pick, though. We don't need it. We trade them pick 35, Marcus May and Evans for 30, uh, for 76, 79, and then 65. 65, of course, is next year a very big steal for the Eagles. And they draft poorly. Not our choice. Not our fault. Don't blame us. Don't look at me. And I think we're going to trade 14 and 15 here for a fourth this and a first next. It's going to have to be a bad team, though, of course. We trade 46 and 47 for uh, the Browns first round next year and their fourth this year. Didn't have to trade anything else, so we might have actually been scammed. All right, so we do have a couple of third rounds because of the trade down, so we will be able... Ooh, who's this? Christian Underwood. Uh, he's pretty young. 
I'm actually going to risk it. I don't even know. 66 overall normal. Ooh, he's terrible. Yikes. Anthony Cates. Screw it, we will take the running back. Hargrave. And it was a good scrib because he's hidden. Uh, that Excel is a little weird, but... Uh, I mean, I guess it's a good pick, right? Good, not bad. Pick eight in the fourth round. Once again, a lot of these players might be gone. And they're kind of... Uh, McCray, we also do have a tight end. Nah, that tight end doesn't look very good. Uh, McCray, Devon McCray, we're going to take him. And he's a 70 overall normal. Uh, yeah, the draft is kind of iffy. We did obviously add a first round next year, so what can you really say outside of that? It really comes down to how well those first round picks we drafted were. Ken Sellers. Let's just take Ken Sellers. Screw it. Another normal. I mean, they're good players, right? Like, we're finding good players. It's just their normal dev. We could use a backup. We're just going to take him. And of course, the guy that I don't even really need, the guy I don't even really care about, the guy I didn't expect to be decent, is the best of all the little gems that we try to go for. Shocking. <laughs> this game, man, I'll tell you. We're drafting a lot of players. We might actually be done soon. Uh, oh, yeah, we are done soon. So let's uh, let's get of all these extra picks, maybe get a fourth round out of them, and then just draft that fullback, who we, once again, probably don't need either. Norman Raider, kind of like Norman Rita, 68 overall normal, uh, good strength, and that's basically it. We're looking at the development of Tatum, who will be our new starting free safety. There we go, superstar development. Uh, I guess we'll do like number 43. We're running out of numbers here. We must have a lot of backup, like running backs and, and DBs or something. The linebacker, 91 overall, his dev is... Only star, but still, good player. And we have nothing in... I will give him 45. Kind of reminds me of a Deion Jones type anyways. Uh, and then our only other hidden, I believe, was the running back, Hargrave, who is star development and stuck at number 42 because we don't have any... Oh, no, we did. We had Hoover, I forgot. Who, once again, probably another star development guy, but, I mean, still a good player. I'm trying to think, did we miss anyone? I don't think we did. I think I got all the players I wanted. It just wasn't a great draft, but we landed a decent one. Damn, look at these. Yeah, we've got some uh, we got some numbers here. We got a lot of a lot of players. Let's get rid of some of these guys. We trade Rice, Donnelly, and a fourth round pick to the Buccaneers for 39 and Pilgrim, which is obviously fair. We know the uh, the Buccaneers have desperately struggled at the defensive line, specifically the pass rushing position. Uh, and they might have just gotten their starter for the future. We're looking at the starting roster. We have Pollard and Bell. Bell's going to play a little bit of the snaps, I think. But uh, overall, it will be Pollard's job to lose. I think, yeah, yeah, let's let's give Pollard the, the starting role. Um, it's, I feel like this is something we've had to worry about in the past. I don't know why. Uh, you know, looking at the receivers, it's really weird seeing a team that has so many young, good players that are all basically just star. Which, you know, it, it, we're just underperforming. We don't, it's not like we don't have the talent. We're just underperforming. Uh, of course, the defense just looks absolutely insane. This looks way better than an 85 overall team to me. I don't know. Maybe we're just going to completely blow through the competition and win a Super Bowl here. But it's weird, isn't it? All right, let's take a look at these re-signings. BJ Foster, you know, 10 mil per year. A lot better than what it could. Well, a little over 10 mil per year. It could be like a five-year 95 instead. So... I think it's smart to re-sign when we did. Denzel Mims, kind of underperforming a little bit, but he is an 88 overall. Okay, dude. Uh, you do realize Jamar Chase needs a contract same time as you, and he's a better development and younger, right? J I'm just throwing that out there. Not a thread or anything like that. I'm just saying. Uh, Boone, let's give him a six-year deal. He's a great lineman. Pretty much everyone's getting $10 million per year deals here, which is a little worrisome, but at the same time, it makes sense. Down to 18 mil to work with. I honestly don't even know how we can afford the players we have. A couple more guys we actually need to sign to. Uh, let's get Denzel Mims and then, you know, everyone else kind of debate. Boone, maybe we should have thought about, but yeah, whatever. Going to the next week, let's take a look. And we go a miraculous 6 in 10. I don't understand what's wrong with the Jets, and I'm glad that I did end it when I did because clearly you can see here that it doesn't matter because it's going to take ages. So another year, another book. So let's take a look. Uh, the Patriots, 85 overall, we're a 12-win team. We're an 88 overall. Just, you know, once again, just to, to show you how amazing Sim is, we have the 
highest rated team in the entire league, and we win six games. Makes sense, you know, makes sense. Of course, we do have the Browns first round pick, and that pick is going to be 32, uh, which is great because, I don't know, that's all I can say. It's just great because. Uh, let's take a look at those stats in a second, though. I just want to see if there was any dev ups, which tells you probably didn't have that great of a year. We do have Ragland devving up, though, which is nice, and I believe that was it. So, Ragland seemed to probably have a good year. Let's take a look at uh, why Why did we sign him? Why did we give him so much money? I don't even know. Rushing was terrible. Passing, pretty terrible, unless your name is Mims. Even then, you know, your yards are a bit low. Blocking. Uh, the right tackle was actually really good. Porter, 1,100 downs, only six allowed sacks. Mackay Becton just got a contract to give up 16 sacks. Burton did well, and that's pretty much it. We, we're paying Nick Bosa 20 mil a year to have three, three sacks. Look at this. This game is good. I don't understand what's wrong with this game. I really don't. You can see why Raglan went up and dev. He's had a ton of tackles. I don't know, man. We're just going to have to keep changing the scheme and hope for the best, I guess. I think it's really just the team name because I've used these schemes I've used. I've had more success with worse players, and yet here we are at 6-10. and 10. We can't even get to halfway there. Uh, looking around, I mean, we'd even get a single award. Maybe a rookie of the year. I didn't look, but nice, man. This is awesome stuff. Love it. Looking at more re-signings. I think we're going to let Bryce Hall go. Uh, I don't think it matters to have a punter. Oh, we're broke. Nice. Um, okay, see you later, everybody. Hopefully there's somebody here that I'm, I can't think of that we can get rid of because we're broke as hell and our team sucks, apparently. We have to pay the DT soon and we can't even afford them. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we can actually get rid of anyone. Burke Irvin was only a two-year deal, so we can get rid of him. Got to re-sign Rainey. Got to re-sign McGrath. Yeah, we're totally screwed. Signing Nick Bosa was the worst move we ever made. Well, that and Sam Darnold. Free agency is literally going to be nothing for us. Maybe we'll try to find a little bit of money so we can sign some, uh, you know, backup that we can get for cheap. I don't know, some sort of lineman like Calvin Ashley. Get him for cheaper. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I'm really not sure if we're going to be able to do anything, though. We might just have to ignore free agency completely. So we actually get a really big steal. We get Calvin Ashley for like five mil per year over two or three years. I can't remember. We also have fifth year options. And as much as I would like to keep all these players, I just don't think we have the money. So I think we're going to be pulling a, a, a Niners and trading off a really good DT for a first round pick. Dwayne Rainey also needs a contract. I think that's, you know, a high second round pick player as well. I really don't want to get rid of these players, but at the same time, what are we supposed to do? Uh, but we do have some replacements we definitely can find in the draft. We also got a backup linebacker, Joey Theory, who's actually a pass rusher, if I'm not mistaken. But as far as the draft goes, we have pick number seven, which I don't think we're going to take anyone out. I think our players are like mid to late first. So I think we're going to go to like 15 if we can. But yeah, Nick Bosa and Jamal Adams, those are moves that definitely crippled this team a bit we should have never re-signed Adams we should have never went for Nick Bosa but here we are trade should have been good on its own but we had to give him a fourth round pick and sellers to move down to 15 to get 47 I really hope they bust on this pick and of course they don't they actually take one of the best wide receiver prospects I seen him but wasn't really our main issue. Look at that. A terrible linebacker. Uh, but looking at our main issues, we do have a cornerback, Hepburn, who looks insane. And I think we might draft him. Not even our biggest need, but he's just so good. I had Patrick Lacey as one of my higher players because the skills look insane. And then, of course, the bench press is pretty formidable. Uh, the number one and two need is linebacker and D lineman. So I think Angel Austin's definitely going to be a guy we uh, also draft. But as for right now, I think Patrick Lacey. We do have this guy too, and look at how fast he is. We can't really draft both. Patrick Lacey. I don't know, actually. Corner, like this Hepburn guy can't even start. But we do have a lot of draft. Let's just go Patrick Lacey. And thankfully we did. I almost didn't because that other DT looks insane. And honestly... If the price is right, we might actually go for him as well, just for the hell of it. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, this guy looks great. He's, he's fast as hell. He can play end. If this guy's 81 speed at uh, 478, the other guy might be like 85 speed or something at DT. Like, that's insane. Um, maybe pick 20 we can go to. Uh, you know, if we don't get the corner, fair enough. He looks great, but, you know, it is a corner. Not the hugest need right now. Uh, but he is still there at 21, and I would assume the uh, the Cowboys do need DT still. We trade them Burton and Thompson with a fifth round pick for 21 and 53. Once again, realistically, they should have to basically trade both of those picks. Uh, Burton finally showed up with an 11 and a half sack season, I believe. And not only that, but he's an X Factor, 24 years old. It's just we're so far into this rebuild right now that we just cannot. Literally, we cannot. Uh, afford anyone and I was gonna go Hepburn but I'm actually gonna go Austin here because this is the position we actually need and it actually looks like a good decision because he's 76 overall hidden of course he's gonna be a little slower than uh McGrath but once again we're we're saving money here in the long run how much I have no idea I mean these are all great players we're just we just can't afford them simply put like I said how much are we actually saving I don't know but we keep drafting good players and it stops there. <laughs> I mean, he's still really good, don't get me wrong, but normal development at a 77 overall. I mean, I'm still happy because it's still a really good player. It's just normal, really. We traded our most, our highest first and second round picks for the Jaguars next year, first and second round picks. Of course, ooh, another Trent corner, but not very good. Uh, of course, they might be projected pretty high because they did have high picks here, but... Ultimately, I just we just need to save money. We can't draft too many players. Otherwise, we'll literally just go right through the cap space anyways. Uh, not that there's much to talk about there. Uh, we should probably trade down again for something. I don't know. We trade uh, to the Giants, pick 47. We get 109 this and a second next round next year. Kind of an iffy trade once again, but what else can we really do? Ugh, terrible pick, though. Uh, maybe a little bit of a reach, but if the DT is there, we're going to take him now because he does look like a generational type talent. And hell, he might even start over the guy we took in the first round. And like I said, hell, he might even start over the first guy. You know, kind of built like an Aaron Donald type. Uh, super, really? I was about to say super fast, but not really. A whole what? 0.13 seconds faster and he gets one speed to excel? That's harsh. That is very harsh, but, I mean, he's still a really good player. It really comes down to whoever has the better dev starts, honestly. We have even more picks. This is this is wild. Once again, we traded top-tier generational talent players. So, obviously, we're going to have some draft picks, but still. Uh, we also have a quarterback, Will Bauman. I mean, he's a fifth-rounder, so, like, why not? We have to probably reach a little bit here. So, we don't have that many more picks remaining this year. You know, it feels like we have unlimited, but I believe we have only this pick in the third rounder and we're done. Yeah, we got that fourth rounder from the Giants, but for the most part, you know, we're kind of running out of picks. So, we need to extend this a little bit. If we have to reach into next year, fair enough, but uh, let's try to pick up some picks in the mid round for the third round. I think this would be kind of a, a fair ish trade, right? Okay, at least, you know, when the trade goes in right away, draft pick only, it's scary because it's like, oh, I gave them way too much, but it's like, now I know how. It's fun. We traded 63 in Ashton Davis to the Bills for 90 this year, 122 this year, and 114 next year. All right, 26 in the third. Let's see if there's anyone there. So everyone is still here early fifth. If we want him, we're going to have to take him now, so we will. And he's a pretty good overall, but another normal development player. Uh, definitely a guy you could use her up for sure. 21 years old, looks pretty good. It's just, of course, you know, that de development is low. But, I mean, hell, it's somebody. I mean, we'll probably never use him, but at least he's there. We got a backup just in case we ever find an opening for Sam Darnold and we get rid of him. We also have uh, a tight end, Jacoby Davis. I only looked at him because of that combine grade. I figured he's a late fifth. Maybe we'll take him. Uh, Randy Thigpen, one of the higher blocking or uh, bench pressing tackles. Not looking super great. This guy, he looks pretty fast. He's 23, but looks decent. Might be worth going for. And then this guy, of course, on the faster side. So I think we should trade down a little bit. Maybe get to the late portion of the fourth and just start taking best available, I suppose. The DT we had on the list just went and he was pretty decent. His overall was uh, 72 overall. Um, 
this guy is probably going to be a bust, but it is what it is. He's a very fast player. A pretty fast player uh, with hidden development. I don't know what the hell we're going to do with him, but okay. I mean, it's uh, sure. And then, I mean, I suppose we'll just keep taking players at this point. If that would have been a bad pick, maybe we wouldn't, but he was a good pick, so we'll take him. And another good pick. Randy Thick, this is actually kind of huge. I don't know what his dev is going to be, so he might not really be able to work out. But as a backup, we might have to re-sign someone again soon. You know, we still have to trade off. Uh, oh, good pick for the Seahawks. We still have to trade off Randy, or what, it's not Randy, Rainy. So maybe it's for the best that we have that guy, because maybe we maybe have to replace Rainy with him. I don't know, but I'll take him a little bit on the raw side, but still. Uh, I mean, we're hitting. Might as well continue. And those are the famous last words. Uh, Brian Clark, I mean, in fairness, he is fast, I suppose. But, I, I mean, we do need a slot receiver. So, I guess maybe he'll just start in the slot. I don't know. Uh, we have a fifth round pick. I would assume all of our guys are going to be gone. If they're not, we'll take that D end. If he is gone, which he will be, we'll just trade down. We're a lot of trading in this draft. But, for the most part, we did land a pretty damn good one. So, what can you really say? All right, here we go. As far as uh, devs go, obviously, we had a lot of hiddens. Or are any of them going to be better than Star? I don't know. And so far, not great. I would have loved to see that guy at Superstar or X-Factor. Especially considering we just lost an X-Factor DT. Uh, now that is good. I don't know. I was about to say I think I'd rather have that than the DT. But I don't know. I mean, we do have two DTs. So maybe... Oh, yeah, I forgot normal. So maybe Mac will have like Superstar or X-Factor. This does look like one of those prototypical X-Factor guys. Even though it's not. It might look that way, but it's not. Uh... But, I mean, we got the linebacker. I mean, we lost an 85 overall linebacker. We got a superstar one back, so fair enough. Tight end, E, star development. And then Thigpin, another hitting guy, probably star development. Usually when you go later on the rounds, you get those. But, okay, superstar. Now, okay, those are, I mean, it could have obviously been better. But we got two superstars on the, out of the bunch perfectly fine perfectly fine of course we do still have to trade rainy like i said and as far as rainy goes i would say definitely high second round value uh, of course ashley uh, the guy we got in free agency going to start he is only normal but he's a very good player uh, but yeah rainy gonna be replaced here super good player it's just can't really do much with it when we can't afford him uh and i suppose let's just trade him off right now we give up pick 45 in Rainey for the projected sixth pick overall. Of course, it is the Falcons, so I would imagine best case scenario is like 15 or so. Uh, but even then, 15 is is a lot more value than nothing for what we'll probably get if uh, you know we don't trade these guys off because obviously we can't afford them. Uh, we have to clean up the roster a little bit and add more position, you know, players in positions we actually need it. But yeah, the team didn't get better. It just got cheaper. So I don't know. I mean, but then again, it wasn't working before. So maybe we did need new faces. I don't know. All right, taking a look at the offense. You guys can obviously see the overall has dropped to an 85. But as far as the team goes, we took a little bit of a hit here and there. But offense pretty much intact. Defense, obviously, once again, middle linebacker dropped about nine overalls. However, with Superstar, could catch up to that very quickly. Hepburn's going to play the number three spot. Lacey, uh, you know, we do lose quite a talent at backup DT. But overall, once again, the team didn't really get too much worse. And on the flip side, we do have Raglan, who's going to be better. Tatum, who's going to get better. Galvin's going to get better. And then once again, on offense, uh, we have Thigpin, you know, working his way up. Wagner, I think he might need a contract himself. So if it's not super cheap, we have a replacement there. So, I mean, the team is in an okay spot. It's just, it would have been in so much better of a spot if we would have actually won the games we deserve to win. As far as re-signings go, we don't actually have to re-sign too much. So, I think we're going to give Wagner a three-year, uh, let's give him a four-year 20 mil deal. I don't know if we have anyone else to re-sign in the future, but a five million per year deal with a minimal guarantee isn't terrible. And then Jay Vic, we're going to re-sign to a cheap, deal not too many years just in case he's bad but enough to where we can save some money if he actually turns out to be good talk about a freaking upgrade it was one upgrade point i forgot to upgrade him one upgrade point to excel going to the uh playoffs and shocker we miss yet again i actually do not know what is wrong with sim it is absolutely unbelievably broken 
It's not like we're playing just the hardest teams. You know, we beat the Bills, who are six and two. We lose to the two and six Niners, the four and five Jags. I think like the three and six Cardinals or something. We lose to the 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 bad teams and win against the good ones. I don't understand. This might just be a straight up failed rebuild. Honestly, like we'll keep trying, but I don't know what else we could do at this point. I mean, it's just not working out. Uh, Mims finally goes to superstar, though. I will say that's nice. Uh, looking at the offensive line, uh, Ashley was great. Uh, Porter was great yet again. And Makai Becton, I don't know. I have some names, specifically uh, speaking of our team name. It just doesn't work out all the time. Nick Bosa improved, I suppose. Lacey was good. Uh, Williams, just terrible. Of course, he is more of a run stopper anyways. Galvin, just a waste. I don't know what else to tell you. Can't miss his five field goals. Let's take a look if we won any awards, which I highly doubt outside of maybe a rookie award. Brutal stuff. Brutal stuff. I don't know. Mims does get best wide receiver as well. So at least we got him to superstar. You know, we haven't really seen many dev ups in this in this rebuild. Like Sam Darnold's still not going to be superstar development. All right, so it's Dallas versus the Browns. Browns back-to-back. -back. Are they going to win back-to-back? -back? They do not. They actually lose to the Cowboys Taking a good look at these DevOps, uh, of course, Mims does go up to Superstar as we expected. His abilities in out elite post specialist, not bad. And then looking at the defensive side of things, any DevOps, we do actually. We get Lattimore. Okay, so that's a really big one. He's 29. The thing is, his contract's about to be up soon, and I don't think we'll be able to afford him anyways. So a bit late there, buddy, but I suppose, I don't know, better late than never, I guess. All right, so far as cap space goes, it's a very interesting situation because Galvin needs a contract next season, so they're going to obviously ask us about a uh, a fifth-year option. Oh, we are broke. That is nothing interesting about our cap space at all. I will say, though, we do have a ton, and I mean a ton of draft picks, so that rookie reserve's got to be somewhere in the 20, 30 mil range. It's in the 20 mil range. So in fairness, you, know, you get rid of some of those draft picks, you do save a bit. Uh, we can save money by getting rid of Lattimore. Do we want to, though? Ooh, we don't really save that much, though. I wish this was next year because Jamal Adams, you know, his contract drops like 10 mil, you know, following this season. So, I mean, we could save some money in the future, but as of right now, we're in a bit of a pickle, I suppose. Definitely going to push more draft picks for next year. Might even have to lose David and Joku. Negative 12 mil in cap space. Managed perfectly. <laughs> We're going to the draft. We have a couple of really high picks. I think, ironically enough, one of our highest picks might actually be a wide receiver. Probably a little bit of an iffy decision because, of course, it is a position not of need. However, even though this guy's 40 time is a little on the slower side, the rest looks amazing. The skills look amazing. He's on the bigger side. Maybe we even put him at tight end, perhaps. But we're going to take Chris Patrick right now, who is a 76 overall hidden player. Um, not even that slow, actually. 88 speed at 6'4", 227. Uh, he's actually a really solid player. And uh, what's his blocking? Ooh, his run block's not super great. But we don't run the ball well anyways. And now here, I believe we have a pass rusher, which we can get rid of Galvin for. Mr. Bill Clayton. Uh, the question is, do we want him? Because he's more of a run-stopping type guy. Uh, but I, I guess to be fair, now it does say he's a power rusher. I was about to say, to be fair, you can't even tell if he is a, a pass rusher, but he's a power rusher, decent skills, pretty damn great combine. We're just going to take him, and it was an amazing pick. Let's take a look at his pass rush ability. Oh, he's really good. Why wasn't his power move on there? We probably missed tons of players that are like this then. Okay, this guy's actually insane. Even with Star, he's probably better than Galvin because Galvin hasn't done a damn thing. Oh, I forgot we had a corner. I should have looked. Please tell me he's still there. He is. LaMichael Hill, uh, probably the starter for... Well, I can't say starter for Lattimore because Lattimore's still on the contract for one more year. But I suppose we'll stick LaMichael Hill on top of it. And 70... See, the thing is, we're nailing these picks. But imagine we weren't. We'd be dead broke with bad players. It's crazy. We traded 42 this, 71 this, and 103 next for 28. There's another middle linebacker, and we've been killing it with these linebackers. So 
I think we are going to uh, we're going to go for him. Zach Roy, really solid looking player. The skills are a little iffy though, and we're going to take him. He is a 72 overall, but he is hidden. So of all the linebackers we've taken, he probably is up there for most athletic. But yeah, not 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 super great of a player. It really comes down to how good that dev is. Might try to replace uh, Blake Cashman with him. And unless there's a really solid looking backup, I don't know if we're going to go for another player. I suppose these linemen are actually pretty solid. That guy's kind of meh. Dunk. I think we'll go for Stanford. And honestly, that might be it because we really do need to save money. We were supposed to go into this route trading almost everything away for next year. And we kind of traded up. <laughs> so, yeah, let's trade away these picks for next year. And I don't know. Hope we have money, I suppose. Which we won't. We get the Browns first round pick next year, which is, you know, not even that great of a trade for us, but I don't know. I mean, at some point they're going to have to miss, right? The guard's really the only decent ish looking person. And I was going to, so to say, I was the only guy I'm going to take, but yikes, that guy's bad. If uh, the tackle's there in the sixth round, we'll take him, but yeah, that Stanford guy was a super reach. And he's not, so see you later, draft picks. Just like, see you later, Cap. Yeah, I wish we didn't go for Sam Darnold. That was, uh, that was a bad decision. All right, here we go. Chris Patrick, who I don't know where we're actually going to play him, is a very good player. Um, If we can move some players, like if we can get rid of one of the wide receivers, we'll try to trade them. But if we can't, another really good player, we're going to probably put him at tight end. If he's a decent overall, I know the run blocking's kind of bad, but like I said, it doesn't matter. Our run blocking sucks in general. Actually, Clayton should be a left end. Is it? I don't know. We'll, we'll solve in a second. Uh, La Michael Hill, another uh, hidden development player. Some really good draft picks here for sure. Another... Okay, this could be... I know we did have picks 7, 10, and 14, but this could be the best draft class we've ever had. Uh, Zach Roy is only star, unfortunately, but that is a sick draft class. Holy crap. Super steal for the Eagles. We trade Lattimore and Galvin with a fifth round pick for their first round pick. Galvin alone should be a first round. Now, Lattimore at this point should probably be a uh, a second round because, of course, he's superstar development. Now he should last another three, four years. Uh, and that's really all you can ask for. Uh, unfortunately, our team gets worse, but we are getting younger. So, I don't know. We're getting younger and cheaper. With those trades, we are able to uh, afford the season at least. So... I don't know, man. Uh, let's get rid of uh, Jamichael Fisher. Can't have LaMichael and Jamichael on the same team. They're going to fight. I just know it. But, I mean, the team is still good. Once again, we've been over this already. The team was easily the best in the league, and it didn't work. So, I mean, I guess adding new players, maybe it's the traits. I don't know. But let's try again. I mean, we can't even make the playoffs, let alone the Super Bowl. This is ridiculous. Probably stupid because we're never going to see this pick anyways. But we're going to trade another starter, David and Joku, for the Bears' fourth round next year. Not this year. Not this upcoming draft. The next year one. They didn't have a fifth round for this year, so I traded for a next year fourth. I mean, we are an 86 overall compared to last season's 85 overall at this point. And we did lose, uh, you know, our 86 overall left end, our 91 overall corner. So we got to be doing something right. We also do have a couple more upgrades with uh, Angel Austin here. And uh, the free safety Tatum maybe get us to an 87. I don't know. But I don't know when to call this. Because it's just like a second video. And we can't even make the playoffs. Like this season has to be a playoff season. It has to be. I don't know what else we could do. And what the overalls on the teams are. There's no way they're higher than us. Unless it's just Sam Darnold. I don't know. Alright, let's take a look at the re-signings. Uh, Porter, I really like. I moved him to right guard to try to cheese it, put him at backup because we're starting the other guy who's superstar, but I just do not think we can afford anyone at 10 mil per. I know it says we have cap space right now, but I would imagine we have some players that we have to re-sign next year that are going to be big burdens. We'll keep Porter around. Uh, we're not. I mean, we're going to keep him around, as in we're not going to we're not going to sign him right now. But we might be able to tag him at the end of the year. Of course, uh, Jawan Taylor. Even though that's a fair enough contract, it's just not a position of need right now. If I could get rid of Makai Becton and keep Porter and put him at left tackle, I would. But Makai still has three more years, and his bonus is in the way. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that. That's. I mean, simple as that. Porter maybe a tag outside of that. 
I don't know what else we can do. All right, let's go to the playoffs, see if we are in them. We are not. And you want to know the worst part of this? We actually go 10 and 6. I do not know what it's going to take to get to the playoffs. Honestly, I'm only doing one more year, and I'm closing the book on this this rebuild. The Jets are doomed. I, I just don't know what to tell you. We have good linemen. They're all giving up double-digit sacks. I think Darnold is just trash. I don't know what else to tell you. I just, I don't know. I get, I am up to my uh, my wits, whatever they whatever they want to say, whatever they call it. I mean, we have so many guys that are good and developable. I don't know who the hell to draft every year. We're basically drafting backups to get rid of more expensive, better players. And that's it. literally it. We have 30 mil cap space now because of what we did. We're a 90 plus overall. I don't know what it takes to get to the Jets to the Super Bowl. I do not know. We beat the final game. We beat the Saints who just won the Super Bowl. I don't. I mean, we basically just won the Super Bowl if you think about it. I don't know, dude. And if we want to re-sign Porter, we still would have some money left over, but yeah, we're going to offer him a lower deal, maybe like eight per year. And the tag would be 11.5. Um, 11.5. I'm going to let him hit free agency because he is 21, uh, 21, 26. Maybe we get him back. I don't know. Uh, our kicker here, we'll let him go too. He's been, you know, average. This was his best season. Even then it wasn't amazing. We actually didn't even look at the DevOps, and uh, we actually landed some decent ones because Sam Darnold finally reaches superstar development. Uh, Mims, 94 overall, 29 years old, uh, is now an X-Factor. Patrick was already an X-Factor. Looking at the defensive side of things, I do not... No, Raglan, I believe, does go to X-Factor. He's only 25. We will have to re-sign him coming up soon, so... Definitely a little worrisome there, and I'm pretty sure that is it, but I mean, the team looks good, right? The team looks solid. I don't think we have to get rid of anyone anytime soon, uh, you know, outside of Cashman, who I kind of wish we can get rid of, but I think his cap number is a little high. I mean, we could. It wouldn't cost us that much, but Roy, you know, priming to start for him in the future. I mean, this is a great team. It's just EA hasn't been fond. And we also did offer some free agents, so we'll see if we get any of those. We get Kyle Fuller. He's an 81 overall X factor, but obviously 34 years old. Really just a depth piece. Maybe a guy that wants to try to win a Super Bowl, even though he's joining a team that hasn't had success, even though they're good. We're like the freaking Browns. We're going to pick up the uh, the fifth-year option for Timmy Raglan because, of course, he's an outside linebacker, and those contracts are very, very costly. And uh, we said no to the other contract. We didn't get any of these players, unfortunately, but it's fine because we're still in a good spot. It's just... We haven't won. All right, so we have pick number three. There's a middle linebacker that skipped the combine up there, and I believe that's him. I obviously wouldn't know if he was good or not because he skipped the damn combine, but we have a quarterback. Barry Haslam looks super talented. Uh, Sam Darnold's really only on like two more years, three more years left. So looking for a QB of the future could be uh, something we do because I don't know if he deserves... A second chance. I think we should really just get rid of Darnold the moment we get a shot. However, we don't need him that badly, so I'm willing to trade down to the Vikings, see if they want to trade up. Maybe they want to go for a QB here. Uh, Brock Purdy kind of looks like they're in an iffy situation themselves. Let's move down. The QB's there. We'll take him. If not, we'll go elsewhere. They go wide receiver. The Titans go wide receiver. And the Dolphins go corner. So, I suppose we'll take Brock. Barry Haslam, early first. 76 overall, it says we reach, but he's hidden. Uh, looks very accurate, looks very good. 91 short. Jeez, some of these guys are insane. Once again, I wish we can get rid of Makai Becton because he really doesn't play well, even though he's a good overall, but we can't. So my uh, decision to go for that tackle I had uh, might just not be something I do. I might just skip it. We do have another DT who looks insane. His name is Bagley. But once again, it's a position we don't really need, but he's super strong. Late first, um, I don't know. I really don't. I, I just don't know. And then this Brandon Forrest guy looks really solid. What's the wide receiver situation, actually? Because if it's not looking super hot, we might go for Brandon, put him at tight end starter, and then uh, move our tight end we currently have back to wide receiver. We have to pay Mims soon-ish. 
which obviously at that point will let him go. Um, I don't know. By the time we do that, we're gonna have to replace some of our players anyway. So I don't know if I like it. I don't. I don't know. We can't get rid of Williams yet, and even if we could, it probably wouldn't be a great idea. Uh, he's very good, in fairness. I have no clue. I don't, I don't know what to draft. Like, do we just keep moving our picks for next year? Like, I just don't get it. Like, we already have two great DTs, so we don't even need another one. And then as far as this guy goes, he looks decent, but he's not insane. Let's actually take a look at our, uh, our center and right guard. I think right guard's one more year. So we do probably have to replace him soon. Yeah, we could use alignment, so I think we actually will take this left tackle. He looks pretty athletic, so he could probably play guard if he had to. Maybe not. He's huge. Uh, but we're going to take him. Tevin Donaldson, he is a very good player. I mean, we're killing the draft. We're always killing the draft, and yet we can't do anything. Come on, man. Do we take Brandon Forrest? If, screw it. We'll take Brandon Forrest, put him at tight end, and he's okay. Okay. Hidden development. Uh, a little bit slower than I would have thought, but... As far as draftable tight ends go, he's he looks pretty good on the you know surface. The thing is, these guys do tend to be star development, so a little bit of a project there, but probably going to sit him at number two anyways. So Running back, we never draft running back high, so we'll try it out for this one time. And he's a 71 overall hidden. Yeah, I mean, maybe sits at backup, but as far as a starter goes, that was not a great pick at all. Hidden development, it's good, but 71 overall. Uh, early third for that guy. 22 and 22. We'll probably go for one of these guys. The other guy's really gone. Okay, dude. I'm going to try to trade this down for like a mid third. We got an early third instead. Uh, good strength. He's a pure tackle, though. Whatever, we'll take him. Whatever, we'll take him. Final last, <laughs> famous last words there. Yikes. 20 in the third. Let's see what we have. Uh, DT Cam Lawton. Eh, he doesn't I mean his skills just don't look good. I'm going to trade down. All right, last pick of the draft for us is going to be Mr. Garrett Walton. <laughs> I honestly feel like in this rebuild, we could do no wrong. All right, so for looking at these hidden development players, Haslam has the development of Star. That kind of ruins everything because I was hoping that uh, he would be, you know, the successor to Darnold, but I don't think that could physically happen because Star development, it's going to take him ages. Ew, number 44, but not you is his dev. Um, That changes a lot. Because I don't know if you can really sit an X-Factor at backup. Hopefully we can say the same thing for this guy. Am I right? Chamberlain. Uh, yikes. Yikes. Looking at Walton. Star development. Nothing really special there. We got a new kicker anyway. So it didn't really matter. We can't actually do anything about uh, the tight end wide receiver situation. Because obviously Mims and uh, Chase. Their, uh, their hits are pretty high. So... I think what we're going to do is just put some of these guys, just put them in positions where they can play, whether they're actually at a true starting position or not. Uh, Jacoby Davis is kind of a, a stupid cause for us. I don't know why I said that. That was rude. He's, he's, he's a computer-generated player, and I feel bad about him, about saying things about him. But we should probably trade him off. Um, well, then again, Jace is probably going to be gone soon. Uh, he was a very cheap backup that we decided to go for. Uh, who else did we start? Oh, yeah, Calvin Ashley. I think we're going to keep Calvin Ashley and just let him hit free agency and then put Donaldson at the backup spot for him. So, you know, we're going to keep him, lose him. You know, it's kind of weird because we've been making a lot of uh, picks off of these players, but I think we're going to do the smart thing, which is try to keep the best available team here and then just let him go. Uh, but ultimately, once again, it's a great team. We just got to play like it, I guess. All right, looking at the roster, I mean, it's a 91 overall team. I don't think I need to show you guys that we're one of the best teams in the league based on overall alone. We've got two more points for Hill we can use. I mean, if it's not now, it's honestly never. I'm, I'm debating on calling it after this season or maybe the year after, depending on how this goes. But if we miss the playoffs again, I'm 100% shutting this thing down. GGEA. Uh, looking at, you know, who we have to resign. We're going to go for Tatum, who's, what, six mil per year? I th well, actually, let's take a look at who we need. Tony Pollard can go suck it. Um... Hoover, sorry, ironically he's talking about sucking. There's Hoover for you. Um, what? 
Uh, Tatum, yeah, I mean, we're, we're just going to resign Tatum. Everyone else can go away. Five year worth 40? That's all right. I mean, it looks good, but knowing us, it might not. We lost, which probably, yep, it lost us the division, but we actually made the playoffs. How many years has this been? Has this been like seven, eight years? We went on a crazy win streak, thankfully, but even then, we only go 10 and 6 and we lose the division. Sam Darnold is just. I don't know, man. Uh, I will say, besides Sam Darnold, the second worst decision we made was Tony Pollard. He just isn't getting the numbers. Patrick did pretty well, in fairness, uh, for us. He got involved a little bit. Receiving, it was kind of iffy, to be honest. And Mackay Becton, I do not know what's wrong with him. I don't know what's wrong with him. I mean, he's decent. He's solid. But yet, you think he's solid. Then you look at his career, it has been atrocious. He has averaged damn near 20 sacks a freaking season. I mean, he's averaged at least, a lot, what, 13 sacks allowed a season? It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, looking at the developments, uh, Austin might go to X-Factor. Pass rush, I mean, there's really nothing special about it at all. Uh, uh, Killian, he's, <laughs> he's got 85 accuracy and he misses seven kicks. How the hell did we even make the playoffs? This team is... It's a great team on paper, and it's just atrocious. It's literally the Browns from last year. It's li like you can't argue it. Uh, you argue with me, I will s I will punch something. I don't know what. But, uh, I mean, if we don't even win this game, I'm done. If we lose this game, I'm done with this uh, rebuild. If we win, maybe make it to Super Bowl, and we lose, I'll give it another go. But the main goal would be to at least make the Super Bowl, right? I don't think the Jets are making the Super Bowl anytime soon. Then again, this hasn't really been anytime soon, is it? It's been almost a decade. All right, going on to the end of the game. No one can score. I mean, I I would say I like it that way, but we are a very good overall team. So when no one's scoring, that's bad for us. Uh, offensively, we get one more touchdown, thankfully. Defense is trying, but there's not really much you can do when you have the Jets as your offensive players. I mean, they missed the field goal. This Jets team is terrible. What is wrong with this game? I'm done. I'm done. I'm just, I'm absolutely done. Failed rebuild completely. The Jets can just, you know, they can have it. Sorry, Jets fans. EA is represent. EA did so bad at the Sim. It's even worse than real life. Like, how is it even... How could you make the Jets look worse than real life? How? I don't even know. How, what, what was this field goal that he missed? A 30-39 to 39 yarder. Okay, maybe I'm not done. I'm not done in the sense that I want to sim it out and see what happens. It's going to be bad because we suck in sim regardless, but I'm literally ready to give up on this. I mean, we've had failed rebuilds in the past, but this takes the cake. This is the ultimate fail rebuild. Like, tell me this game isn't just absolutely broken for sim. Like, some of the other years we showed you, okay, fair enough, we weren't the highest overall team, but the very first year we missed, we were the highest overall team, and when you miss the playoffs, the chance for XP, I don't know exactly what it is, but I'd say it's got to be at least 10 to 15k XP or something similar to that. Dev ups don't go properly. I mean, we had a star offensive uh, offense for ages, and you look right now, we're by far the best overall team. I mean, it's not even close. We're 92 overall. I do not know what happened in this rebuild. I don't know if it was just the file. What's the story? In fairness, we did forget to uh, to do the morale thing. Oh, to be fair, we didn't get morale anyways. We're going to lose anyways in this sim because that's just the way it is. <laughs> I bet you the Titans don't even sniff the Super Bowl. They don't even sniff it, I bet. I'm stupid. I don't know. I don't know anything. That's why we failed the rebuild. I don't know anything about anything. 9-7. to seven. What a Super Bowl, yay. Congratulations. Perfect sim. I'm actually done. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what the comments are going to be. There's probably going to be a lot of people that are saying, wow, EA is just a flawless game company and whatnot, but I I don't care. I just like... <laughs> your Super Bowl was a 9-7 to Super Bowl. Okay, dude. If you say so. Let's take a look at our uh, our actual stats. And then I'm done. I'm done. I'm I'm actually just going to delete this roster, I think. Like, I just don't even want to see it. Tony Pollard was, our, you know, just terrible. I think running back matters, man. I really do. I think, uh, I mean, we didn't do better with Bell, 
But statistically, you know, Bell was really good. I think if Bell would have been younger, we had him all the way through, it would have been fine. Of course, you miss a field goal. We lose by a field goal because our kicker misses. Like, just like the one we actually played. So, I don't know. Don't ask me to reload this team again. I'm not giving it another chance. I will not do it. Absolutely not. I'm done with the Jets. Maybe next year, next Madden, will uh, when the proper rosters are out and maybe proper sim is out, which is highly unlikely, uh, maybe we'll have better success. I don't know. If you want to see a successful Jets rebuild, take a look at the other one. I think that one went pretty well. Regardless, that's me. Don't don't go for Tony Pollard if you're simming only. Don't go for Sam Darnold. Just terrible. Uh, let's see what else. Any other players defensively? Jamal Adams, don't re-sign him. And that's and don't go for Nick Bosa because pass rushers don't matter in this game. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you guys did like this for whatever weird reason, maybe you like seeing me frustrated or some of the jokes I made, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me at Twitter, Jerome PKer, and maybe check out the second channel, PKer Plays. Do a lot of stuff on there, and I think either today or tomorrow there'll be an upload there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya! Yeah, it's a joke.